I believe this guy has my gun. Oh, yeah! There you go, buddy. Good deal. I appreciate it. Yeah, have a good one, man. You too. Alright. Looks like my uh, Avengers back home. We're going to reopen this and see what is said about it. Paperwork says Air Venturi Gun Repair. All right, let's dig her out. And there she is, boys and girls. My original gun, there's some paperwork with it. I'll find out. What all they have to say? There's no air in the gun. Well, there's a little bit of air. It's in the yellow. And she's back and is on fire. Just past one in the yellow. Probably about 12. Which isn't good for the reg, but. Let's read the paperwork and see what they have to say about it. Okay, comment tech. Filled rifle with air, let sit for leak check, small change in pressure, remove both tanks and take ends replaced o-rings on all tank ends reassembled tanks and rifle and fill with air test fire rifle rifle shooting 980 feet per second with a 20.06 grain pellet okay well <laughs> i thought oh my god still too high um within specs no drop off of velocity found Holding rifle overnight for leak check. 511.21. No pressure loss overnight. 12.21. One hour AV warranty. Okay. It says they filled the gun up. There was no loss of air overnight. I just received the gun. It came from Ohio, so four or five days. And here's where we are. So either it's still leaking or something's happened. Which, again, uh, it, I don't know if they even done anything. It's a slow leak. And I'm not happy with that because this is $30 a pop to have to ship this thing back. And it came back with the air low in it. I'm not happy at all. I've got to call somebody about this. This is ridiculous. Yep, I'm calling bullshit on this one. I usually don't get up sad at all about a lot of stuff, but this this really aggravates me. See if I can get that to focus on that. Either way, it doesn't matter. You can see it. If it was filled when it was sent to me, and it says right here on 511 is when they done this and held the rifle overnight. Right here. 
it's printed really, really light, but I'm just gonna put that up there. And today, I just got it. Today is the 19th. So in a week's time, it's all the way back down. All right, man, here we go. This is starting to piss me off. It really is. This is bullshit. I'll have to send it to somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing to fix it. That pisses me off, God damn it. There's no way. see my reg my regulator is sitting right about 3,000 and it was set on 2700 so the regulator has been turned up on it yeehaw I don't want the regulator turned up on it alright I am topped off here I'm going to let it sit for a week. The regulator I had set, well, it came originally set about 2700. Apparently it's been turned up. I had a power drop issue. They've got it maxed. It's sitting all the way on 3000. So now I've got to turn that back down because that's definitely known to tear the guns up with a bad poppet in it. So anyway, I'm doing a leak test. Um, a week leak test. I filled this up and I'm going to let it sit for a week. And I'm going to see what happens. And here I am at 12 hours later. I've got to get that thing to focus. There we go. You can see it it is no longer on three the reg was turned up and now it's about 2800 it's only been 12 hours okay it was topped off oh when i filled it earlier this has only been about 12 hours 4350 put my hand by it you can see Four thousand psi instead of forty-three fifty, where the fuel mark is. I'm trying to get light on this thing and get it to focus. You can see it. You can see the green. <sighs> and here I am, twenty-four hours later. Remember, I filled this thing completely up, topped it off. And it has now been 24 hours. I'm trying to get this thing to focus. But now I'm sitting at about 3,700 in 24 hours. There's no way. Oh, it sprung a leak on the way? And the regulator, which when I got it, it was about 2,700. Well, I got it back and it was jacked up to 3,000 and now that it's lost air it's down again to about 2,700 but if you can see it it's sitting about 2,700 so that's a 24 hour period they're telling me that they tested this gun filled it up set overnight and it was okay and they shipped it back to me I get it back it's leaking worse than it was when I sent it Uh, and the regulator's been turned up to 3,000, apparently, 
trying to make it look like uh, my gun's running faster or something because I had over uh, about 100 feet per second drop with the MK2s when I tested them. I did a video on that. So that's where I'm at. I'm not real happy about this situation at all. Come in, this is 48 hours. You can see it. It's sitting at about 3,300. So, in 48 hours, I've lost about, on average, 515 feet PSI per second, or per day. And they're going to try to tell me that over a 24-hour period, you cannot lose no fire. It's not happening. Yeah, over a thousand feet per second, 500 uh, psi per day. I mean, you gonna tell me there was no leak? I'm having a hard time believing that. So it seems to me it's leaking worse than what it was when I sent it. Oh, I did want to take a look at the reg. It's about 2,700. 